Nasikitikika sana kuona eh, Francis Aturi amesema ati hiyo ati msichana ananyosha ubwa kitu ya kwanza ni kuomba Saudi hakudanga ubwa Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa inaitangwa kerb na hiyo ni haramu ni kama kusema kufunga eh, gurue Mwarabu hafugagi ubwa so eh, anafaa sijui venye atafanya ama sijui kama ata apologize eh, kwa wakenya kwa sababu imeshtua watu wengi sana and it was from pound site eh, na ki, kitu ya kitu ya kwanza mambo kama hiyo watu wa mindi akambula iende kwa mid ama ikuwe aired ulizie ni kwanza what is happening Yeah. Personally, yeah. personally, I've been in Saudi for 16 years. 16 years, and I can swear before God, Saudi is one of the best countries in the world. Mm. I can swear God, yes. it is one of the best countries in the world because Sharia Saudi Arabia is 100 plus 1 percent straight TV. Mm. But Kenyans, we are not used of that. Mm. And I want you media people to ask me a question: Why do Kenya ladies die in Saudi Arabia? A simple question. Yes. I'll answer you yes. right away. Wasichana wakitoka hapa wakifika huko wanaendaka na simu kama hii simu ya mtandao. Wakifika huko wanaingia kwa groups za Kenya working in Saudi. Yes. Kwa mfano ni wewe una msichana ambaye ametoka kwenyu kidhurai ama pali popote ama kijana. Mnapatana kwa mtandao. Anakuiba kutoka kwa ile nyumba umeenda. Ile nyumba umeenda unapewa 36000 Kenya shillings. Anakuambia huko nje utapata Uh, 72,000. Na ni kweli unapata hiyo pesa. But document na mambo zote unaziwacha kwa hiyo nyumba. Ukitoka nje unakutana na wanaume. Si Waarabu wanaume wa Kenya. Sisi ndio tunawapachika hawa wasichana mimba. It's not a secret. Sababu msichana ni wetu, ni wa kwetu. Tunapata urafiki in Saudi Arabia there is no shortcut kwa sheria. Hii dawa za kupanga uzazi it is prohibited 100 plus 1. Protection hakuna. Ukipata mimba wewe ni it's up to you. Na lazima tu, tuendeleze hiyo maneno. And I'm sorry to, to say this in front of media. Ukipata na mwanaume huko mkifanya usharati na yeye upate mimba it is up to you. Huwezi pata mtoto kwa hospitali without documents na huwezi toa mimba. So dakika ya mwisho huyo msichana ana decide kutoa hiyo mimba. Yes. Uki decide kutoa hiyo mimba I want you to give me to give you three I want to give you three samples. Msichana huyu pengine hajawahi za hapa Kenya. Ni maana ya kwanza kwenda huko na ni maana ya kupata yake ya kwanza kupata mimba. Akipata mimba akiwa ni maana yake ya kwanza anaambiwa atoe hiyo mimba na, na miezi ine. I want to ask you will she survive four months pregnancy? No. She will not survive, she will die. Unashika? Number two, unakuta huyo msichana hapa Kenya amepata mimba na yeye amefanya CS hapa. Maana ya kwanza amepata watoto wawili na njia ya CS. Anaambiwa sikume mimba ya miezi ine. Itatoka. She will die. Namba 3 amepata mimba hapa huko na amezaa hapa watoto wawili na njia normal akifika huko akipata mimba anaambiwa toe hii mimba ya miezi 4 hata succeed kutoa hiyo mimba lakini parasenta itabaki kwa tumbo huyo msichana anakufa once more anaitwa mimi ndio nilikuwa controller i was controlling 144000 Kenyans with this facebook including Moses Kuria the current yes we ambaye amechaguliwa juzi He was under my control. He's a witness of that. Many Kenyans here know that. Wala menda Saudi Arabia. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans na Facebook. So, ninapigiwa simu na pewa picha ya msichana na pewa taarifa, ametoka Munanga, ametoka Kangema, ametoka wapi popote naweka kwa Facebook. Kiini kia msichana kufa hatuweki kwa Facebook. Kwa nini? Manake alitoroka kule alitoroka, ako nje mwajiri hamshughuliki simu Arabu alimpachika mimba na si shughuli yake kupeleka hiyo mimba maiti nyumbani. Kenyans na you know Kenyans we don't throw our dead. Waki akifa wa Kenya lazima tushughulike maiti lazima ipelekwe nyumbani. Dakika ya mwisho hatutaandika kiini cha msichana anakufa ndio pesa zichangwa na wa Kenya tusafirishe maiti. Tukizungumza na wazazi wake hapa hatutamwambia kiini cha msichana anakufa tunamwambia ni hybrid hybrid pressure mambo zingine sababu kuna mambo zingine zinaaibu kuingia kwa masikio ya wazazi. Wazazi wakisikia msichana wao amekufa wanaita media. Media ikifika KICC Jomo Kenyatta International another one from Saudi. There is no report. Yeah. there is no report. Hakuna report tunapeanaka because ina aibu. Ni report ina aibu. But I'm telling you the best country in the world ni Saudi Arabia. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe it. Mahali unakaa na sheria na sheria unapelekana nao vile unasahili. You cannot go beyond that sheria to fanywe nini. So that's why people wanna pigaka sheria wanna pigaka Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia doesn't have anything to do with the girls why only Kenyans 
huko kuna watu tabaka zote duniani kwa nini Kenya peke yao because tabia zetu za wasiana wetu zimekeuka sheria unafikiria sheria ya Kenya itaenda kufanya kazi hichi kingine it's a lie it's a lie it can't it can't that's a muslim country and they have to protect and also Kenyans and Kenyans girls before they live here they should know 95% ya constitution ya Saudi Arabia imekuotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani and there is no shortcut no matter what 95% I'm not a muslim I'm a christian and I know that 95% of sharia ya Saudi imekuotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani na haibadilishagwi even a, 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 a point hivi haibadilishagwi lakini Kenyans wanataka tukifika huko tubadilishe it can't work it can't so you should know I want to make a program with one of the media services pole pole nikiwa kuna haraka niwaelezee kwa kini ndio wasiana wakitoka hapo wajua wakitoka hapo wanaenda wakifanya nini wanaenda kufanya kazi ama wanaenda kufanya mambo zile tunafanyaga hapa kwetu hapa kwetu we have all the freedoms hata mtu anatoka mimba ine na there is no problem no no where you will be taken huko jaribu kutoa mimba moja my friend you are a killer yeah. i have a lot mimi kutoka nienda huko nimesafirisha wasiana 16 maiti nimesafirisha wamepokelewa hapa na vijana watatu ask yourself why hao vijana watatu wawili ni accident mmoja alianguka kwa swimming pool he's a witness of that and many girls here ambao tumefanya kazi nao huko sasa nashindwa why Kenya we don't ask ourselves why media doesn't ask herself kwa nini namba ya wasiana iko juu kuliko ya wanaume mm. eh hey, kwa nini sisi hatufuati wanaume ya kufi mm. hey, na wako huko kwa nini wasiana peke yao ndio wanakufa maana mm. yake hawawezi zuia joto joto ya kiume hawezi zuia hazui naona na hapa amezoea na si makosa yake ni kawaida ni kawaida hapa Kenya we are free to do everything but hapo funga mbwa yako mahali iko nashika thank you